Dead Silence is a 2007 American supernatural horror film, and a young widower returns to his hometown to search for answers to his wife's murder, which may be linked to the ghost of a deceased impersonator. This horror movie shows twisted image of corpse with mouths open and tongues torn out. The violence is as shown in quick, nightmarish flashes. It's a ghostly curse doing it. After all, not human handiwork and is very intense. A young boy is a prominent among victims. Other imagery plays on people's words, fears of creepy ventriloquist dummies, dolls, mannequins, marionettes, and clowns. This could definitely give smaller kids and other sensitive viewers nightmares. Every town has its own ghost story, and around Raven's Fair, a local legend tells about a ventriloquist named Mary Shaw who went insane and was accused. The film tells us about distraction and attention, as well as how to distract Mary Shaw and Billy's attention. To be able to avoid their attention, they should not scream and should remain entirely silent in order to avoid being killed by Mary Shaw and Billy, who will cut their tongue and kill them if they attract their attention. Or she'll rip your tongue out. The movie simply shows how the distraction caused to lessen our visual perception. The fact that the movie shows the dummies are the killers merely distract us from the truth. The truth that the real killer is Mary Shaw, a vegetable spirit who used dolls or dummies to kill all along. Who accompanies the old lady Ella, the stepmother of Jimmy. She in fact used the idea of her who kidnapped and killed a young boy to make us and the characters in the movie as well believe that the one who kills people is the spirit of the boy in the doll. But the truth is, it is Mary Shaw who seeks revenge against the families who destroyed her as well. It was lastly shown in the movie that the destruction in a parallel processing of the brain that makes Jamie visualize the old man he sees is alive, as it have human body and grace or do such human motion at the same time. It hinders him to perceive the idea of Mary Shaw actually puppeting the body, which lastly revealed in the movie. Dead silence is connected to our topic because it was about destruction and how it can affect our visual perception. Visual perception is the brain's ability to interpret what is seen. It refers to the brain's ability to draw conclusions from the information absorbed through the eyes. The dummies are the destruction in the movie. It distracts us from the truth that this was Mary Shaw who was behind of the situation they are in. If you have papaphobia, this movie will creep you. The story revolves around the puppet who came in Jamie's front door. This started his messy life. His wife got murdered and he is the main suspect. In order to reveal the truth and give justice to his wife, Lisa, he began investigating in his little town. He discovered his family's involvement of Mary Shaw's death and how it started until the plot twist was revealed. The movie is quite boring in the beginning for a person with short attention span like me. Even its introduction is so long, but it started to achieve the mystery that is needed for the viewers to continue watching. Its progress is commendable, and the story is quite cliché like other mystery horror movies, but I can tell that it is a good one. Graphics and sounds make it all up for us to experience its feels and what it is portraying. By this, we can simply understand how parallel processing works on our visual perception and attention. We are able to simultaneously process the incoming stimuli of differing quality. By such distraction, we are abstracted to see and perceptualize the truth and actual information about the objects or things we see. The entire process can be much more complicated and requires us to have a depth understanding about the different brain and body systems. We are able to perceive many things that are going on at the same time as our eyes and brain 
are working together to notice and understand the details of what is being experienced. Tongue out at the scene. <laughs>